Doug, this is the other one on Patty Lane that Beth really likes. It's a that other one was 8,400 feet. This one's more like about you know 56. I think it's actually 3,000 feet up, 3,000 feet down, a balanced ranch, but it's got some really nice uh, darker wood front finishes, um, and uh, just really tastefully done. Anyway, and this one's at a million two seventy five. And I happen to know the buyers, the sellers are very motivated on this one to sell. So figure five to seven points under that, probably on a takedown offer. It's got like a built-in kind of nook in the dining area. Real nice, darker trim, but real elaborate, really well done. Kind of a cool floor. We thought it was distressed. <laughs> yeah, on purpose, but the dogs did this. Apparently, their dogs are scratches because uh, the girls pulled up carpet where the dogs couldn't mess it up. And uh, but anyway, it's just a really cool floor. It looks good, distressed. Uh, they both love the kitchen. Uh, kitchen's off to here, half bath there. I'm gonna kind of go quick on some of this. I'm running out of battery. The kitchen's very open. It's sitting on 4.6 acres. It's got a nice open uh, sort of kitchen for entertaining, uh, nice dark finishes, um, great selection of this tiger eye granite. Um, there's your walk-in pantry that you made me film for Beth the last time on one house. It's got a similar deal there, but um, just really well done. Nice little entertaining room here as you go through the house, little desk area. Then a shot of the upstairs walk-out basement. And a shot of the views. Again, because of the forest fire smoke, you can't see, but this is all full range mountain views of Meeker and uh, Long's Peak and all that stuff. So uh, I'm gonna go back through the living room and we'll go to the master bedroom area. I think the girls are downstairs. And here's the master suite. Uh, again, access to the walkout uh, patio. And uh, master bath. Uh, bath really liked how the tile and the woods kind of mesh together real nicely here in the bathroom area. So I'll take us down to the basement. Uh, guest bedroom, I won't bore you with some of the details there. A formal dining room you saw. Uh, we'll go on down into the... finished basement area. Looks like again it's got 10 foot ceiling plates which is a a $40,000 build upgrade or more. Down the higher plates. Uh, office and a, another big bedroom down here. Almost like another master suite here. Huge bedroom. And uh, office study down here. Uh, three quarter bath shower here. Um, I guess, I don't know what this is. Maybe a wine room or a safe room or a storage room. They're gonna do something in it. It's kind of neatly decorated. And another bedroom here, okay. So here's the other two bedrooms and another bath, a full bath off this bedroom. So basement is well done. Uh, family room area. Oh, is that like our copper bar? Is that a copper? Yeah, they sealed it. Look how oh, see, ours is not sealed, so we're always having to repolish it. But you know, not, not everybody does that. You yeah. Know, sister and -in -law. Say hi to hubby. Hello. <laughs> Hello, a hubby. House. Yeah, this one's this one's nice. Um, game room area, bar, TV area. Yeah. Again. Card area, card table area, just well laid out. Well laid out. About 6,000 feet. And then you walk out basement to the backyard. 
as well here.